But instead of acknowledging the history of imperialism, colonialism, and white supremacy behind the status quo in Israel and Palestine today, our university leadership has, perpetu has perpetuated a narrative that it is all just too complicated to really say one way or another. In their own words, in a statement to students in late November of this academic year, and I quote here, this conflict and the issues surrounding it are complicated and fraught, and reasonable and thoughtful people can have different values, can have different views on this complex problem. I think that's another kind of quote where we see neoliberalism in our university, by the way. As a Jewish person with a lot of family that was not lucky enough to make it out as survivors of the Holocaust, I really want to just convey how terrifying this language is, how unsafe it makes me feel to see our university fail to acknowledge the history and the truth of a genocide unfolding before its eyes in real time. And under the protection of its silence about this reality, UW continues to hold investments in companies that turn a profit on this genocide. It partners with Israeli academic institutions that exclude Palestinians for nothing more than their background, while every university in Gaza has been destroyed over the last months. Further, through its deep partnerships with Boeing in particular, the university facilitates the endurance and growth of this company, of this company perpetuating economic and state systems that only grow stronger and more entrenched with every dollar spent on every bomb dropped and every life lost. These are morally reprehensible ways to run a university and they must change. Today, we step into our strength and our power as students that can no longer stomach the status quo. We gather in our power as students and people of conscience and solidarity with Palestine and we vow to remain gathered in our collective power until real change comes here and now. UW, cut ties with Boeing, materially and academically divest from Israel and the repression of Palestinian students, workers, and faculty. Thank you. Yeah. We will not rest. 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 Genocide in Gaza and we demand ceasefire, we yeah. demand the free Gaza, we demand the free Palestine. So do not get your head away from the culprit. Stay focused, stay knowledgeable while you're here. Stay focused and make sure that you're here and your presence is heard. Because we are here and we will be heard and our demands will be met. And we will not rest! Washington administration to listen to the demands of the protesters and to take meaningful action to address the university's complicity in injustice. Together, we will continue to work towards a future where all people, regardless of their race, religion, or nationality, can live in dignity, equality, and freedom. of the occupation, Israel has arrested thousands of women, including mothers, minors, and elderly, who participated in the resistance or raised their voices demanding the restitution of their rights and their stolen land. 
in his study, The History of the Palestinian National Prisoners Movement, Amduna argues that the movement's roots are not limited to 1967, but go back to the British Mandate for Palestine.